Hey y'all and welcome back to the party. It's your girl Brit Reacts and today we are reacting to Kathy's Clown. This is Reba McIntyre in 1989. Let's see what she has to say. Uh, this might be the first ballad -y type of song I've heard from Reba. I'm like trying to think. You could confirm by going to look at all the other reactions I have on this channel because it's the only time I've ever heard her sing. <laughs> I think this might, this feels like the slowest. I don't even know if you can consider this a ballad. Anyway, I love that thing she's doing. <gasps> I love that. And now I understand, I think, what she means by Kathy's clown. Like, I think she's saying people refer to her man as a clown, which is, that sucks. Um, she still seems to have that, like, like, she turned and looked to the camera, that, like, sassiness that she has when she performs. But this feels like a much younger... I want to say naive for lack of a better word, but like naive in her, um, I don't know, maybe naive is not the right word. Maybe I'll think of another word, but it just feels a lot more, it feels younger and less mature than some of her other songs. I don't know how to say that because it's not a bad thing. I'll think about it and we'll, we'll circle back. <laughs> Let's keep going. No a man can't crawl And when you let her tell you lies And you let them pass you by You're not a man at all As well She don't want your love anymore She don't I just think it's kind of sad that she's treating you so bad and I'm the one who cares she is such an actress like even in 89 you could see that this woman had like she's acting right now and it's so cool okay so she likes this guy who is liking someone else and everyone is disrespecting him by calling him a clown because Kathy treats him terribly is what I'm getting from this so yeah the song just feels ju like ju juvenile ju juvial juvial juvenile <laughs> I promise you I can talk and that I am an educated human being I just can't think of the word that this is making me feel like in comparison to the things I've seen from her later on like even the song fancy I think was the first song I ever heard from Reba I reacted to it here on this channel and it feels like it was in the same time frame but that felt a little more mature and um like elevated this feels like a like young girls kind of song you know what I mean I love this like big green like period piece dress that she has on this feather in her hair this is so 80s it's insane 
insane. She sounds so good though. Like I don't think I've also ever heard her this like that thing that she's doing. It all feels very, very more traditional. I promise you I'm going to get it together and explain myself. I'm finding it hard to explain what I'm thinking and feeling for whatever reason. This feels more on the air of traditional country than I'm used to hearing her. Typically, the songs I've heard feel like they're infused with a little bit of pop or a little bit of blues, rhythm, blues, jazz, something like that. But this feels like it is true to the genre of country that I think you would think of when you hear about country music is what I was trying to say. Thank you. I want your love the The lace gloves. Um, yeah, I you don't typically hear a ballad end in a lower register. She went from la, 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 to clown. That's how she ended it. Typically they take it up and take it out. So I love that choice. She's such a well rounded performer. She's not a singer, she's not an actress. This woman is a performer and I adore her and she is my auntie. And she left me like not having the right words. <laughs> She left me kind of like fumbling over my words on this one because I just didn't, I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't that. She can really sing. That like little, there was like some yodel in there. That was cool. What can't you do with your voice with that throat box, Auntie Reba? I don't know. Anyway, go have the day you deserve. Peace.